I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a difficult question for our new subscriber. So welcome to all the subscribers and the viewers and let me thank you all for posting your questions and requests. The question which I have taken here relates to rational equations. Right, so we have to solve a rational equation which is of the form of polynomial divided by another polynomial. Now this is an extremely interesting question which has been there in previous test paper. So let's see how to solve it. So we are given 1 over 2a plus b plus 2x equal to 1 over 2a plus 1 over b plus 1 over 2x. You can actually now pause the video and try to answer this question. Okay, and then look into my suggestions. So to solve, we need to find what x is. So let's bring the x terms together. So we have these two terms with x. So what I will do here is bring it on the left side. So we have 1 over 2a plus b plus 2x minus 1 over 2x equal to 1 over 2a plus b. 1 over b. Let's take the common denominator. That's how we do, right? So we'll take common denominators. We get 2a plus b plus 2x times 2x. Cross multiply. So this gets here. So we get 2x. Minus time all these terms. We get minus 2a minus b minus 2x. Correct? On the right side, we'll multiply. Get 2ab. Cross multiply b plus 2a. Perfect. Now here you see that 2x and 2x in the numerator cancel. We have minus 2a minus b. I could take minus common and uh, write this as, as 2a plus b because that I am seeing that 2a plus b here, right? Over all this, which is so. Uh, which is all this, which is 2a plus b plus 2x times 2x equals to, let me write this as 2a plus b, perfect, so we can cancel, 2ab, okay, now, so we can see that this can be cancelled, this 2 also gets cancelled, perfect, so, so now we could write this as minus 1 over 2a plus b plus 2x times x equals 2, 1 over ab. Perfect. Okay. So now to solve this, we'll just cross multiply. So we get minus ab equals 2. So we're just cross multiplying. Uh, and we can open the bracket also while we cross multiply okay let me keep it as such so we get a b here and uh, x times 2a plus b plus 2x okay so we have all this now we can bring all the terms together 0 equals to open this bracket we get 2ax plus bx plus 2x square and plus a b so we see that this is a quadratic equation where leading term is 2x squared. Coefficients of x are 2a plus b, that is the coefficient of x, and a constant term is a b. So that becomes our quadratic equation. Correct? Now, how to solve this? You could actually factor this also, right? So I could have factored here itself taking uh, some things in common, right? So, as you can see here, we are looking for product of 2ab and sum of 2a plus, plus b. So, if I take 2a and 2x common, I could have done it, right? So, okay. So, let me get back to the previous equation. So, I will take, uh, actually rearrange them. Let me rearrange. Let me rearrange. So I'll write this as, I'll bring this term with this. So, so I get 2x square. I'll write this 2x square first plus 2ax, right? 
plus bx plus ab does it make sense so i just reorganized basically i brought this term first so that i could group them to factor do you see that part so now i can take 2x common so i get x plus a here and i can take b common i get x plus a there also so x plus a is common and we get 2x plus b equals to 0 so that gives you a solution for x so x is equal to minus a in the first case and x equals to minus b by 2 in the second case do you get an idea perfect so that is how you could actually solve this equation okay great now how about writing restrictions for this kind of equation so normally the restrictions will be that denominator cannot be zero so definitely x is not equal to zero one thing right so, and second thing which you also notice is that x cannot be equal to that combination right so a and b cannot be zero right so we have a and b not equal to zero also as one of the restrictions and we also have that x is not equal to uh, minus of 2a plus b 2a plus b divided by 2 since that will make this one 0 right so those are the restrictions for us and that is the solution for us so for restrictions you have to equate denominator to 0 to find the restrictions and the solution you normally find by cross multiplication as we did here so we'll use the technique of cross multiplication and then we'll use the technique of zero product to finally get the solution right so this is from zero product so i hope the steps are absolutely clear and uh, that gives you a good way of solving a rational equation I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to share my videos, write comments, and uh, if you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.